Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the second part of my two-part video series on how to use HEMA maps. Now in the previous video, if you missed that, go check it out, link in the description below. I talked about how to create a root root using your HEMA cloud account. So this is more like, in my case, it will be more during the pre-trip planning stage where I'll create a route for myself. But then once you're on the route or once you're out there on your trip, then you, know, you want to create more routes for yourself. You might see something interesting on the map, which is a point of interest or a number of points of interest, or, or you decide that the route that you created during your pre-trip trip planning stage is not really what you want because you've something seen something more interesting so let's create a route on the HEMA maps which is on the tablet so it's pretty similar if you've got a printed map and you go on the printed map and you say oh, okay well that looks pretty interesting and I want to get there and let's pay, perhaps take that route or you take a pen or a marker and you mark it across on your printed map it's same thing but it's done digitally by the way if you're new to my channel please hit the subscription button and the notification bell because I bring out an overlanding related video every single week my channel is all about sharing my experience in overlanding with the rest of the community at the end of this video if you found it useful please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments below and i'll get back to you through another video or as an individual reply to your question so let's grab hold of our tablet and dive into it as i always pick i'll pick a place in south australia so as you can see the blue pointer towards Adelaide, there you go. So that's currently I'm in Adelaide. So obviously the, the, the pointer is gonna show me Adelaide, but if we were out on a track somewhere in the outback, then that pointer would be representing the location that I'll be at at that point. So anyway, so let's, I'm gonna go into the, um, I've already activated my Great Desert Tracks overlay, as you can see. And I'm going to go into um, and pick a route. So let's say I'm in the middle of the Simpson Desert and uh, there's a number of tracks as the map shows that I can take. But I want to create a route of my own. So it's very simple. Let's assume the starting point is at the junction of the Rig Road and the French Line. Okay, so that's my starting point. Let's assume that's where I am right now and I want to uh, t create a route of my own where I will go from the French track down onto the rig road and then across to the um, other end, which is basically, I want to get to Popple Corner, but let's say I'm not going to take the, the more popular route, which is the French line, which most travelers would take. I want to do something completely different, but ultimately what I want to do is get to Popple Corner. So the first thing I do is by putting my finger on the point where I am right now, which is the junction of the French line and the rig road, I will create a start point. There you go. So easy as that. And then just move it across to exactly where my start point is. Now you can zoom in a little bit in as you like to make things a bit easy for you. Uh, I like it like this within its full screen for me. And my end point would be Popple Corner. So put another, by putting a, putting a pressure with your finger at Popple Corner, there you go. So initially what the HEMA maps will do or is it'll give us a straight line. So it always works as the crow flies. So I've got a straight line. Now that's fine. Now what we start doing is creating our route. So the route I want to take, like I said, is a bit different to what everybody else takes. And if you see this little circle or point or, no, or node, whatever you want to call it, in the middle of this line, you use that to now start shaping your route. So I'm going to drag it across to, so I'm going to take that stretch of road and then I'm going to go down to the uh, point there, uh, quite like that. And then from there, I'm going to move across to down this way and then from there across over to here now you can make this even more accurate which I'll show you in a minute and then I'm going to go down here 
and then across this track here and then go across to that line there, the K1 and then over to Popple Corner. Now, what I'm going to do now, the next step I usually do is go in, zoom a bit more into it and then I'm going to make it a little bit more accurate as far as, you know, laying it on the, the, the track as possible. There you go. So, so every time you want to make an adjustment, a little node, as you put your finger, put pressure with your finger, a little node appears and you use that node for, you know, making your adjustment. So there you go. So th that's how my track is going to look. And all those little um, points are the points I created as I was creating the root. Now, eventually I have got to the end, which is Popple Corner. That's where I want to get to eventually. And that's my finishing point. So once I've created the route and I'm happy with it, then all I do is on the top right corner where you see, it tells me already, gives me information. It says I've created three points, 23 points. The total distance from start to the end point is 256.2 kilometers. Yeah, that could vary. Um, it just all depends on how accurately I've got my route. So it's a bit here and there. I can clear it if I don't want, if I don't like that route for some reason or made a mistake or whatever, just clear it and then save it. So I hit the save button and then I can give it, give the route a name. So I am going to just name it to purple corner. Okay, I'm happy with that and I'm going to save this. So the route is saved. If you want to double check it, all you do is go into the drop down menu onto the left side of the screen and then go to routes. So Popple Corner is now in your tablet and the route is marked. Now, just to take you back to what we discussed in last time's video, if you go into settings and you will notice that the Hema Cloud Explorer account is open and it's inserted in here and the syncing is automatic, so I've set it to automatically sync. Now, at the moment, uh, let's assume I'm in the middle of the Simpson Desert, so I don't have any form of a Wi-Fi connection. So at this point, it's not connect, it's not syncing with my HEMA cloud. But whenever I get to a point where there I will have Wi-Fi connection, then this track that I created will sync with my HEMA cloud. So th there is my route which I just created, and let's say now I'm about to take off and head in that direction taking this route. So all I do then is go to the start point of the route, which is over here, and tap on it and the name of the route that I just created, the name that I gave, pops up. Tap on that and if I want to add any notes or anything of that sort, I can do that at this point or if you don't want, no worries, but you can make notes as you go along. Okay, so another cool thing you can do, and you would have noticed in the previous first part video I showed where people have recorded the statistics relating to the trip in terms of you know, distance traveled, average speeds, and so on. Now you can do the same thing. So before you set off, this is what I do, before I set off on the trip, what I do is on the map, now I've got my route as you can see appearing in front of me on, on the screen, and at the bottom, towards the bottom of the screen, there's a little pointer pointing upwards um, in a in circular form, tap on that and the record feature comes up. So all I then do is as I'm about to set off on this route, I hit the record button and as soon as I hit the record button, it will start recording all those vital information. And then at the end of the route, uh, if I, or perhaps along the route, I want to pause for a moment, I hit the button again, that's the bottom gray button onto the left, I can pause recording, I can delete that, or I can finish the track, whichever that I want to do. So at this point, just for the demonstration purpose, let's assume that I have finished the track, I've come to Popple Corner, and I'm happy with all the recordings, so hit finish track, and I can give whatever a, a track name, and other notes that I want to do, and once I've done that, I hit, it automatically saves, and that information is now recorded as well along with the route. So the beauty is once I get back home or once I've synced this with my HEMA cloud along with the route, 
this information that was recorded by the tablet or HEMA maps will also be uploaded at the same time. Now let's look at another scenario where let's say you're on the route and you have, you're following that route that you predetermined. However, halfway through you decide, no, you want to take a little bit of a detour. Then it's all very easy. You go back into your route. And now the easiest way to do it is pull down your menu and then go to routes and your route comes up and then scroll down to where it says edit and hit the edit button and all the points that you created the 23 points in in my case will pop up so you're on editing mode right now so let's say i have decided i don't want to take the um i want to change my route a little bit so what i'm going to then do is move it across up here because that's what i want to do rather than taking the initially intended route and i will adjust it accordingly and then also while you're doing this, if at some point you want to get rid of uh, a point, all you do is tap on that point and see the little garbage bin icon onto the left, tap on that and you can delete that point. If you want to record that particular point as a particular point of interest, then you tap on the button which is with a plus sign onto the right. There you go, I'll do that. And then you can save that particular point as a future reference or whatever. I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to bother. So cancel, and there you go. So I just changed the route because I felt like it. And then that's my new route. So now I can save this again, and it'll save over the route that I initially had. So you can edit on the go. Okay, so we've completed our trip and we've come back home now. Pretty excited in all these wonderful places I've visited and I've seen my, myself and I've created these routes or multiple routes and I can't wait to share it with my friends and the rest of the overlanding community. So what do I do? Get the tablet again, switch, make sure the syncing is switched on, it, the Wi-Fi is connected and I'm going to sync this with the HEMA Cloud account of mine and then share it with everyone else. And here I am in my HEMA Cloud account. And all I do is scroll across to my account, pull down the menu, and I go Roots. And once I go Roots, there you go. So Mount Dead Dalhousie is the route I created on my HEMA Cloud account in part one of this video series. That's still there. And then Popple, to Popple Corner, that's the route I created today in this video on the assumption that I'm out there on the trip and it has already synced with my HEMA cloud. Then if I click on it, there you go. That particular route that I took appears in my routes. Now, there is no stats information because that I wasn't traveling. I wasn't, um, you know, it was only a demo. I was in my studio, so there was nothing recording as such. So that information is not there. Um, and if I didn't attach any pictures to any particular points while I was on the trip, I still can do by scrolling over to this option here where I can upload pictures. And then thereafter I can put, I can decide to make it public or not, put down comments, which might be useful to others. And it's ready to be shared with everybody else or to be archived to be used in another trip I might be traveling in the coming months or years or whatever. So I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscription button and the notification bell. I bring out a video every single week. If you've got any questions relating to this video, please leave them in the comments below and I'll happily get back to you. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next week in another video.